What's up? It's Fireman Chef Jeff. I am back. Man, I'm feeling much better. Man, I was under the weather last week. I apologize. Hey, I got my coffee mugs in. They look great. Got a little cutting board. I made them a bigger cutting board now that you can order. They turned out good. And I have stickers. So order now. FiremanChefJeff.com. Get them now. Tonight, we are doing Chilean sea bass. Now, um, we're going to... Uh, also do a lemon beret blanca sauce, and then I'm going to do some roasted Japanese yam. All right, so let's get started. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna make like a little green sauce, which is really only gonna consist of some cilantro, maybe about two cups of leaves. I'm gonna do some leeks. I'm gonna do a couple of stalks of celery, and I'm going to do some lemon juice maybe half a lemon and a little bit of uh, kosher salt. And then I'm going to just blend it up in this little ninja to make a little green sauce. I'm, I, I think I'm gonna put around the fish or maybe um, let, lay the fish um, on top of it. Give it some color, give it a little bit of flavor, okay? So let's get that started. Okay, now I'm going to just cut up my uh, Japanese uh, yam, just uh, like roasted potatoes, however you want to do it. I'm just going to do like little cubes, and then I'm going to just keep it simple. I'm just going to season it with uh, olive oil, uh, garlic powder, and onion powder. All right, pretty simple. And we'll mix them up in a, our famous Ziploc bag and get them nice and coated, and we'll throw them in the oven, all right? Okay, we've got our yams in the oven. I got them at about 415 degrees. We're gonna probably roast them for about 30 minutes, depending on the thickness and how you cut them up. So let's get um, our lemon beret blanc sauce ready, okay? So I'm gonna take um, some Sauvignon Blanc and I'm gonna do about a fourth of a cup. And then I'm gonna do about one and one and a half tablespoons of white wine vinegar and this is just going to go in a pan all right and then we're going to do about a tablespoon of shallots so go ahead and uh, mince up some shallots and add them to your pot um, then we're going to do about a tablespoon of lemon fresh lemon juice and some about a teaspoon of zest uh, just depending on how lemony you like it, add to taste, okay? So then that's what we got now. And then we're ready for our next step. All right, for our sea bass, I'm just going to pat it dry. And I'm just going to season it with some kosher salt, some pepper, lightly season it. With some kosher salt, pepper, and then our uh, Old Bay. And then we're ready to uh, pan sear it. I got a little bit of butter, about a tablespoon of butter and a tablespoon of uh, olive oil so and we're just going to do it about skin side down for about four minutes and then about two minutes on the other side and that's it and we'll be ready to eat how's that look let's get it in the pan sizzle is real now don't move it once you put it down let's go for four minutes and then we'll flip it over for two minutes and we'll be ready to eat all right we're about ready to flip it over Nice and easy. Look at that nice crust on there. Go about two more minutes, and then if you want to flip it back over on the skin, do it another minute. And then for this, just go ahead and uh, get it to a boil and reduce it, um, you know, probably by two, when there's two tablespoons left. Then we're going to add um, some heavy whipping cream um, to it. We're going to add um, about a tablespoon of heavy whipping cream. Once you reduce it down to about two tablespoons, go ahead and add about a tablespoon of heavy cream. And then we're going to go ahead and remove it from heat. And we're going to add one tablespoon of butter for a grand total of four to six. And each time we're just going to whisk it up and let it melt. Maybe add it back to the heat until the butter is completely melted. And keep doing this until all four to six tablespoons of butter have been melted, all right? And then we're going to want to keep this warm so it doesn't separate, all right, until we're ready to serve. All right, we're plating. Go ahead and put some of your 
sauce on top and go ahead and throw your potatoes on and garnish and let's eat!